Hello and welcome back to Yabale Dropshipping 2. In this chapter, we will show you how to work with a lister uh, on Yabale and with the monitor table. Okay, so let's start. We will go to the lister page, clicking on the lister up here, and we will see that we have three kinds of lister. First one is the auto lister, second one is the bulk lister, and third one is add existing listings. So let's start first with the auto lister. You can see here that you can add the ASIN or the Amazon URL in here. And just click enter or get item. Quickly you will go to Amazon and get the most suitable uh, offer for you for this ASIN. Now we will go through all of our features and explain them so first of all, we have a error warnings. What does that mean? That means that the description contains a error word. In this case, creations. We have a bank of hundreds of error words, and you will get a warning each time that a error word is appears on the brand description or title. <coughs> so we can go on to the title. This is the Amazon title that being pulled straight from Amazon into this text box. You know that eBay allowed only 80 uh, characters title, so this one ha has, a, you have a, a character, uh, I mean, Charles counter for you, and every time you go through and type one more car uh, character, then it will add here on the counter. Now we will go on we can see eBay title recommendations. <clears throat> this is a very important feature. It will pull all the eBay titles from eBay for this uh, product you are trying to list. Why is that important? Because now you can see the guys that you compete with for the same product. You can see the, the, those, um, those listings uh, titles. You can see those price, their prices, and of course you can just click on the item links and see everything else concerning this list. You can see all of it and just decide, okay, now I would like to use this, uh, for instance, title, I like this title. So I will use this title, but I can see that this price, so I will try to give a, a little better price than he is, for instance. Okay, just, just an example of a way we can use it. We can see the, the people we compete with on eBay and then compare ourselves to them. Okay, next thing is a category suggestion. We have a category, we use the eBay category uh, suggestions mechanism from eBay eBay just uh, give a suggestion for this uh, product and usually it, the first one is the, is the correct one but if you're not sure we can just click and the category will be open up for us if we're not sure in, on eBay the category page if any one of those category are not fit we can just choose this text box and insert the category number on eBay for the category we think that is relevant for this product. When we go on, we can see that the desired profit, as we mentioned on the last session, is being pulled from our default configuration, which is two. We have the eBay price. We can, by the way, set the eBay price and the desired profit will move for us, will change for us, and same way, change the desired profit and the eBay price will be set for us. We have the Amazon price, which is constant, of course. <clears throat> we have quantity, which is being taken from the default categories, as we mentioned, we've mentioned before. Uh, this is the UPC, MPN, and brand, which are being pulled from uh, Amazon. These are the Amazon pictures with the uh, um, with the sizes. You can here choose the um, the profile picture or the main picture on eBay, and here you can just remove pictures. If you would like to, would like to use some pictures, you can use your own pictures from desktop when you're dragging them uh, straight into here and just upload it. it will, they will be appearing here. 
no problem one last thing is the editor HTML editor as we said uh, as we show before uh, on the configuration we can set an HTML template so this part is taking all the data from Amazon and just plant it on the template and you can just see it in here with a picture and description and stuff and you can if you want to add something special for, for this specific uh, for this specific uh, listing so you could just use this editor now all we have to do is click on the list product and right now we're going to eBay and listing this product as we wanted this is for the okay and now of course we can see the listing success see the eBay fees if there are we can see the listing URL if we we'll click on it of course this is a demo sandbox uh, example so it wouldn't open it because this is not really writing into eBay but if you click the listing URL you can just see your listing URL and we have sometimes warning coming straight from eBay oh this is PayPal email address okay this is just because this is a demo environment so it won't work but for you it will work the eBay item and the other data for this um, for this uh, listing okay now we can go on and uh, look on the bulk lister it's a very powerful tool what we would like to do in the bulk lister we would like to we have a few options okay so we can see that we have a row format uh, okay we can just use it as async title quantity desired profit and category number but if you would like we can just use async list only okay so just um, we can just take some, for instance, a specific A scene in here. Yep, and just let's use the same one just for the example. Okay, just a new line separated. We can use the preview and we will see for each A scene. It means that we will use the Amazon title, the quantity, and desired profit are will taken from default category. That's, I mean, the default uh, configuration and the category will be taken from the eBay recommendation mechanism. If we would like, we can just remove some of the lines, or we can edit them. There is no problem. Okay, just finish editing. Now, what's important to understand here? Um, is that the fact that we can use uh, we can set if we would like uh, let's say see the format is the ace in the title so we can look at the title now we can set quantity we can set desired profit and we can say well, let's okay and let's leave the category uh, zero we want the category to be taken from uh, Amazon, okay? I mean from eBay, sorry. And for this product, let's say it's a different uh, a scene. We would like to set some other a title, okay? And let's say all the other stuff we would like to be taken from eBay. Oh no, let's set quantity two. Desired profit one category taken from eBay and all the other uh, rows we would like to um, all the data to be taken from uh, our configurations and from eBay. You can just use the preview and you can see that everything has been updated with the titles I've entered, the quantity, desired profit, uh, and the category that will be taken from eBay unless we can just choose a specific category number okay and again you can see the category number you can edit it here if you want to okay um, so <clears throat> there are instructions here you can the maximum amount right now is 100 products uh, but we will probably just um, remove the you know uh, the limit soon uh, in case of an empty field, the value will be taken from configuration or from Amazon. Okay, now one important th uh, thing to understand is the Vero stuff. So sometimes we have Vero, Vero words in the description, title or brand. 
So basically the, the bulk lister will prevent you from uploading Vero words or listing with Vero, Vero words unless you will allow it here. If you will allow the Vero words, you can just um, list those items even if they have Vero, Vero words. Okay, so one, one last thing is you just need to click the list items and then you will get an email. Uh, to, you can go on and work with the monitor and the lister and after a while you will get an email uh, to your mailbo mailbox that will give you a report with all those uh, listing or ASINs that worked and if there were any ASINs that or listings that didn't work and didn't upload it into eBay you will get a detailed explanation why and you can change them for instance if the category is wrong or uh, the ASIN is wrong um, or the duplicate, or you have duplications. There, there could be many. Oh, there, there are vero, uh, vero uh, words. There could be many uh, reasons, but you will see everything details in uh, in the email after a while. So this is for the bulk lister, and now let's move to add existing listings. Sometimes you have listings on eBay that you do not, uh, you didn't upload it them to, uh, using this monitor. So you would like to connect them. Um, or for some reason you decided to upload it manually to eBay not using this uh, lister so you can just add them manually how you would do that you will just add those uh, eBay item ID ASIN and the desired profit and just click add to monitor this will add the product to monitor and all the process we've talked about on the last sessions with uh, every 30 to 60 minutes, uh, uh, the prices and stock and stuff and protected mode will be updated. Just start uh, including those listings after you add them to the monitor. That's it for the lister. Uh, and next, um, next one will be the next session will be on the monitor table. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye.